Hi all, there's an assembly video of a new product which is the Beetle Diffuser Pro and let's also check out its features. The Beetle Diffuser Pro comes packed flat in a bag like this. The bag color might vary. So once you open the bag, just make sure to remove the larger parts first. First you remove the part which looks like this, which is the second half of the main body. Then you remove this, which is the first half of the uh, main body. The front diffusion panel bottom reflector back panel which also comes with an updated LED which has been newly designed and developed for the diffuser which is much brighter and also get this USB connector with a soft small switch tactile switch which means you can control any power bank uh, with this and there's another special feature this LED is mounted onto a clamp which is permanently attached to this back panel so with just a clockwise turn, it just unmounts from it. So this can be used as an emergency light or like a camping light if you require. If you want to mount it back, you can just align it again. Then you turn it anti-clockwise, which locks into place. And just make sure to get this cable out from the split on this back panel where the side buttons are. You also get this uh, newly developed and designed a latch strap mechanism system which you will find only in the pro model and uh, more about this later you will also get this power bank owing to shipping regulations uh, power banks are available only for Indian customers for international customers you will be getting velcro sticker leathers so you can attach it on any power bank uh, similarly sized like 5000 mAh power banks and use it with the diffuser so let's go ahead and assemble the diffuser all these diffuser parts attach and detach via plastic snap-on buttons. So be gentle while assembling the product or disassembling it. So let's start with this uh, part which is the second half of the main body. Just align it and just attach it to the buttons. You will hear the click sound which means the buttons are locked into place. Then you take this front half of the main body, you can align that and you can attach it. So now you take this latch strap mechanism, there are two buttons on the strap, so which uh, goes onto the front half of the main body and just attach it. The latch also has the two buttons which attaches onto the second half of the main body, the back part. The side there is one button which you need to attach, the front half to the back half. You take this uh, back panel, so back panel has four buttons on each side, so you can align that and attach it. You can do the same thing on the other side. Now you take the front diffusion panel, attach it here in the bo at the bottom first and bend this in and attach it on the top. Then there is one button on each side, attach that as well. The bottom reflector when not in use goes on top of the uh, diffuser. So let's also attach the power bank which goes at the back panel where the velcro is. So this way it attaches. You can also connect the uh, LED. So depending on the power bank model, if the power bank already has an on-off functionality with uh, single click on this connector it activates the power bank then another click turns it on click turns it off so it's now very convenient you don't have to pull out the uh, usb connector so you can just control any power bank with the switch with the brighter light you'll be able to achieve faster focus in most of these uh, new cameras up to one is to one magnification for higher magnification more serious macro work manual focus is the best way so what we have here is a 5D Mark IV Canon body, a Canon 100mm macro lens, a standard size uh, flash which is a Godox TT600. So the mount of the Pro model uh, will allow both round head and also rectangular head uh, speed lights. You don't have to uh, order for a V1 mount a round head separately. So get the strap out of the way and let's mount this. So bring the diffuser close and just bend this speed light and get it in and there's a velcro strap and just attach it to the other side to further secure it uh, in place and to have the diffuser in one place you'll get two sided velcro strap on both the sides of the back panel so bring this velcro strap 
under the lens from one side and just bring it make it make sure it's a little tight and just bring the other strap and just cross over it and just attach it so now it's holding the diffuser even from the bottom so which means uh, you'll be able to shoot something high up on the branch or on the tree and the diffuser stays in place it doesn't come back all right so what you see here is a beetle diffuser logo which is on a Raynox holder which is permanently attached onto this diffuser with industrial grade tape on both these sides there's a small lip which acts like a filter thread on a lens so the Raynox holder will attach the same way how it attaches to a lens so press and hold and just align this and just leave it so this is the fastest way to store Raynox in the field what makes this beetle diffuser pro unique if you see here the strap and latch system this latch has got uh, two uh, push buttons which are spring loaded pressing and holding the push buttons you are able to vary the angle of uh, this diffuser by pushing and pulling the strap so now it's almost at the forward facing angle pressing and holding this push button you can just push the strap now it goes to top down angle I've been shooting with this diffuser for almost a year and with this diffuser being very close to the subject uh, mainly with subjects which are highly reflective uh, like some of the beetles and some other bugs also moist subjects like frogs uh, the reflections are much more diffuse it's now more eye pleasing and you also get a better overall lighting edge lighting and also backlighting effect with some of the smaller bugs you might not be able to shoot in this angle always so when you find comfortable subjects sitting in the open an open leaf a twig approach them carefully and slowly start changing the angles from forward facing and go down and you can shoot and with comfortable subjects and you'll be able to get the best possible lighting and whenever possible use the bottom reflector it will fill in the shadow area especially with subjects sitting uh, in the open on a twig or a branch this is the right size for shooting subjects from onyx magnification to higher magnification for shooting larger subjects like frogs and smaller snakes there is a large version of this pro model so here is the beetle diffuser pro large which has a taller and a wider front panel it's slightly larger this will be the right size for it and for the smaller m43 system we also have a beetle diffuser pro mini uh, which is mainly for the uh, 60mm macro uh, with the tt350 which is a mini flash from godox and this is the right size uh, for it beetle diffuser pro is probably the world's first diffuser to have this latch strap mechanism so the materials used in these diffuser are all uh, water resistant and uh, apart from the power bank and the led so in mild rains uh, it should be uh, fine i strongly suggest that you assemble the diffuser mount it onto your flash and onto the camera before you take it out in uh, rains for more details and to place an order you'll find an email id in the video description and also you'll find a phone number where you can send a whatsapp message if you're seeing this as a reel or on facebook or insta you can message me there I will get back to you within 24 hours. Also request you to uh, share gear details like your lens and flash and also which country you require uh, shipping to. So here's the Beetle Diffuser Pro for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.